Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of the Chrono Trigger Frog Solar Run. Previously we escaped from Guardia Castle's um, prison and now we are in this unknown time, uh, time era even though I said, said the time era last video. That seems pretty civilized and destroyed. This episode we are going to be just progressing the story. However we do that, we know how we do that. It's, yeah, up there. But first, we're going to go into this dome and yeah, talk it, talk this. Got any cash? You call this money? Um, that's actually a really good line, in my opinion, in how it's said, because um, you call this money. It shows how much the world has been like has just changed and gone desolate in like the um past however many years part in how yeah, it's like. Yeah, just how much it's changed in the past however many years. It's really good, actually. Like, a lot of this game, it's not even translated. It's like, just, like, okay, here's some text, here's some context with it. Do what you can. Like, even even Final Fantasy IV was like that. Like, that's how the, um, the infamous You Spoony Bard line came to be. Anyway, with everything done here, actually, do I buy the okay, no. With everything done here, we are going to be progressing to the next area, and I'm just going to say right now, like there was with last episode, and I am being called on my phone. All right, and with that call taken care of, we can continue with this, even though it was like you know one second for you guys, because editing is beautiful. Um, oh yeah. I was trying to avoid these rats because they steal everything. Now you'll get now get ready to see like the most annoying enemies in this area. Not the octopods, no. The the meat eaters. You'll see why in a minute. That's why. They heal everything. So it will be beneficial at all costs to take them out first. And they have some and they have some layer of defense as you could as you would see. Ideally you wanna get a critical on meaties because then um yeah. Speaking of criticals. Also, it's good that I can. It's also, it's good that I can just use a frog again because, yay. Yeah. Oh boy! Uh, yeah, I actually screwed up my controller here. Oh no, I don't. Do I? Okay, I do. I'm trying to make it so um, menu is Y. But nope, I screwed up. A lot. I screwed up a lot because I prefer having my menu button be Y rather than X. But no, nah, I mean, uh. Also, these bastards like just steal everything. Um, that berserker kit. I just thought I'm never going to use this because um, more attack power. Yes, that is good, but I don't control of a frog. At, yeah, ever. Soul tonic. His bastards. I was gonna. I was gonna avoid them. Avoid these, but yeah, I'm gonna just buy them now because why not? Da 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 Oh there I just look, look how many, uh, how much experience someone has come up, I didn't even see it just now. But yeah. 
I do want to be um, of a good level for the next boss that have, that's coming up. Because, yeah. I am not good at this game. So I think I'm doing a frog solo run. I think I'm pretty young. No, I'm not actually. If I was doing a Marley solo run, I would prove good at this game. Because Marley's actually the weakest character in the game. And then again, she has haste, so she's also one of the best in the game. Because haste is like a really good ability. You know, you could just kill the octopod and then, you know, um, heal yourself then, right? Oh, also, yeah, sure, that works too, you get a critical. Also, also, like, look, there's, like, um, the shelters I mentioned, how much I had from, um, that I mentioned back in, um, episode 4 of how much I got from, uh, Fani in Guardia Forest. Oh, yeah, a bow, something I can sell because I can't use those because I'm not playing as Marley. Okay, now this is actually a really annoying battle because these meat eaters actually heal. Because meat eaters heal, heal um, because meat eaters heal everything um, that's on the screen, including themselves. So you gotta hope for this, um, hope that you can um, kill one. Uh, yeah, like get you can kill one before they start healing each other and stuff. In that with where there's um, two meteors and you're doing a solo run, it's actually optimal to uh, defeat the enemies first and to worry about the meat eaters later. Because this happens. Yeah, I'm just like worrying about the octopod now, gonna get rid of that. Like, I'm just like, it's like spamming the keyboard, like, spamming the A button just to uh, hit the octopod because, yay, enemies. Because if I don't get a critical, I'm not going to kill it. Like, look, my AD field, and uh, I didn't even have enough time to kill it. Speaking of criticals, there it is. Now, for the best part, hoping, hoping for a critical. I just need one critical and that's it. And there it is. Don't need a critical for the second one because I can just like take care of that alone um, normally. I was actually contemplating finding these, but I actually do end up finding them, because... Yeah. Because this frog is actually pretty strong at this point in the game. Because this game is actually pretty well balanced, you, you don't have to do any level grinding in this game whatsoever. Like, maybe for some of the, for some of the uh, side questy stuff, you do. But yeah, just all the side quests and stuff, and that's it.
really I was just like hoping for a level up for um before the next boss happens. Which is gonna be pretty soon. Oh, these enemies here actually. What well, um I can't beat these enemies because these enemies can only be uh, um inflicted by magic, which I do not have. So I mean I have text but I don't have magic. So there's only one thing I can do in this fight. Run away. I'm actually very lucky I could run away in that fight because I am earlier I changed my um Cologne changed my um things. My controls. I actually also accident accidentally changed like some of the run the run stuff. Like like I will change them again eventually, you know, like in another in another episode, or maybe later on in this episode. But what that what that does is stop me from um thing. Uh, yeah, stops him from running away. Because of the, uh, you know. Yeah, L and R. So, yeah, I don't even know what I changed it to, but I do eventually change back to the Ultra Control scheme, which, yeah, which is good. Honestly, I was expecting Mutant down there to attack me, but it didn't, which is surprising. So yeah, this is the entire battle, just like, spam A. There we go. And now I'm gonna go back and fight the other Newtons. Also, the air broadcast is gonna be happening within like the next minute, so yeah. Oh, this is actually this is around the time I realized where the commentary for the actual commentary for this episode stopped recording. So I'm like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So yeah, I'm gonna. So yeah, that's happened. That's the only reason I'm doing post commentary because the commentary for the um past episodes like just stopped work, stopped recording because um, I ran out of space. And here's the cuts. Now it's going to be a problem of me syncing this up, but the commentary will just take like a few minutes, a few seconds to load the uh, next uh, video file. This is around the time I realised the commentary stopped recording again. Because, yeah, I really did, really did. Right, I really, really do in our space. So I'm like, okay, screw it, I'll just do the rest without commentary, and that's what I did. And this is, this is where we were aiming for the entire time, the next dome, which is here. Oh yeah, I saved here, just in case of... Um, because of a possible soft lock that, had, that could happen, because it's supposed to have Marley, Luca, Chrono, and because I didn't have either of them, I think the game, I would assume the game was going to soft lock because I had, um, neither of them, but apparently not, because I do apparently have Luca with me. So, you know, yeah. Oh, he ain't coming back, I'm something like that right now, sorry, but yeah. <laughs> actually, do I use the shelter here? Because I don't. Do I use the shelter here, or do I actually use the Enertron? Because I can't. Because I um, don't. I don't remember using the Enertron here. I probably do. Just don't remember. I'm um, here. I actually do buy some um updated stuff. 
for a frog so I can actually have updated defense, which is good. But yeah, just like buying like, you know, stuff to update, <laughs> um, you know, stuff so I'm stronger it would be a good idea because I kind of need to, you know, be alive. I have two because apparently one, the other one's a chrono probably. So yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's like not much to do here really because I also say they've got a possible sunflower button up. I have Marley and Luke with me apparently, but yeah. But you're still hungry. Apparently, I still have like some stuff in, some stuff left for this episode, but I don't even know what I could have left. Okay, I'm actually gonna go fight the boss this episode. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. I am an idiot for thinking that was a good idea because I should do it next episode, honestly. But whatever. So this is the boss I was hoping I was gonna be. Op um, I was hoping to level up four because, yeah, executing program, no chrono, what's going on, let's go, battle this thing, um, this boss is a lot higher than what it should have been in my opinion. Because these bits, look how much damage they just take. And there are a few instances where I do hit the Guardian, so... If I hit that, then that's not good. Because then it'll do like a... Uh... Basically it'll do that, but worse. So much worse, it actually kills me. Yeah, there's the first game over. But me being me, I actually still go and do it for some reason, because yay, I'm an idiot. So I'll cut back when I'm there. Alright, and take two at the Big Guardian. So this is what it does if you have all three of them here. A Delta attack, which hurts. Just a lot of this battle is um aiming with the um is aiming at the uh, bit and like taking that down because. With the bits, you need to take it down so you can actually attack the Guardian safely. And it's not just a matter of attacking the Guardian safely, because, um... Thing. Because after you kill the bits, the Guardian does regenerate them. And... okay, no.
This fight took much longer than what it really should have, honestly. Like, I just reached the uh, second part of this, the second half of this video file. It's so long. <laughs> like, of course, the battles and take. Like, of course, the battles go over the entire video file, you know. And. Oh, hey, my phone went off. What is it? Okay. Twitter. So yeah, now it's gonna like a whale on the big guardian as much as we can. So yeah, it's gonna like actually heal up in the last few turns, cause yeah. <laughs> and this was not a good idea. Cause you know, Delta attacks hurts. This is a long battle. So yeah, this is going to be the bulk of the- I've already said like a million times, it's going to be the bulk, the bulk of the battle. Oh yeah, I'm- I just don't even know. I, just, I don't even know how to commentate over something this slow, it's... Oh gosh. Hmm. And, the worst thing, and the worst part about it, I know how much more of this battle it, there is. There we go, and now we know what we know what happens here now. So yeah, now it's going to heal up again because I need health. I really don't know how to commentate over something this slow, like, jeez. Uh, I can't even make it interesting either, because it isn't like something like an auto scroller or whatever.
And time for the second bit. Okay, finally this thing is nearly over. Okay, that was actually close. <laughs> that was nearly. Oh, yeah, that was close. Dying is bad. I've already. Because, you know. It really sucks when you get this close. Like, it really sucks when you get this close to defeating a boss and then. Dead. Like, with Mega Man X, because I was playing that not too long ago, um. I was in the final boss in Sigma's Fortress 1, and, um. It had one hit left. But then it threw a spider on me and killed me. And now, go ham once again on these, um, on the Guardian. Two criticals in a row, that's good. Okay, no. Break down, break down, da 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 da. Break down, break down, da 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 da. Oh my god! Okay, I completely forgot that happened. But yeah, um, yeah, I go out here to make a save state because I can um, thing here. I thought that was possible stuff because there is um a conversation between Luca and Marley in here. So yeah, we're gonna go catch the rat now. <laughs> I like how I got. I like how I reach it, but I'm like, no. Nah. Yeah, now that's going to be a uh, problem because my computer keyboard doesn't allow me to press more than two keys at a time, apparently. I mean, I can press an arrow key and, and any two other keys at a time. But with all this said and done, I'm going to be cutting it off here. And in the next episode, we're going to be doing what the rat told us to. So, until then, I am Richard Revima, signing out. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone.